compass and it's saying you know that is south but true south is there so if you're in the midwest it's only like one two three degrees off east coast is 10 degrees west coast is 15 degrees so we will provide you with magnetic declination maps so you'll know volts times amps equals watts and so you can do that this is the same formula but this is the letters they use. And so how I've laid it out here is my ideal way of wiring a system where I fully optimize my grid tie system and yet have a small critical loads UPS backup power system. You need to know the OSHA regulations. If you're getting up on a roof and it's over six feet, you have to wear safety harnesses. Um, that's the simplest one. The other one is um, you always have to have three to four feet of working space in front of any electrical equipment. I always just automatically do four feet. Most of this pertains to just regular electric equipment. So the reason why these are two separate parts is you need to flash it. So this is a typical piece of flashing. Why do you want to flash it? Well, to keep it from leaking. So you bolt that to the roof, you get this flashing and you slide this under the shingle and then you get the standoff and you put it through. And so that would be, you know, through that flashing and now the whole thing is flashed where you put the holes in the roof and then you could put an L foot on the top of there and then you could assemble the rest of it. So. The next step would be once you have the L foot, you put the rails. DC voltage input of 150 to 450 volts. So if the module itself is a 30 volt module, we could put 10 of them in series and then we would have 300 volts coming in and that would be within that range, no problem with that inverter. Now, whatever the current of those modules are, let's say that module itself was 30 volts open circuit and eight short circuit amps or current. Now, when you wire them in series, you've added up the voltage, but coming out over here, your open circuit voltage is 300, but your current is, Can you see that metal clip there? There is one underneath there, but you can't see it. And so they don't really accept it in some cases because it's not visible. So they actually want you to run, you know, a ground lug. Is the primary advantage of a microinverter is if you want to start small. If you want to put one, three, five solar modules up, you can. It makes it very modular. You can just add more as you can afford it or as you want to. So the accurate way to do it is you get one of these, you put it at the plane of the solar module, and then you block it out, you shade it, and you've blocked out the direct light, and whatever's left is the diffuse light, and you subtract that from the total. And then that's what you have as direct light.